Hello viewers and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. It has been about nine months since the game came out and there is now a story DLC that has been released called The Frozen Wild. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. It takes place, I believe, up here. You can see we have a quest marker. Well, three quest markers. I think you have to talk to just people <laughs> and then they'll be like, ah, yes, there's a whole different region you should probably check out, Aloy. And well, turns out there's also one directly in front of the new zone. So we're gonna go ahead and head up there. I don't know exactly what's in the DLC. It's actually been kind of under the radar uh, from what I've been paying attention to. So there, I just haven't seen like a lot of people talking about it, which is either good sign or a bad sign, really. Like a good sign in that, oh, uh, hey, if it's good and I wasn't spoiled on anything, that's great. A bad sign in that, uh, who knows, maybe people weren't really that crazy about it, but you know, it's a, a story DLC. So realistically, I'm expecting maybe some side interesting things and maybe a couple of new enemies to engage with. And I'm not really expecting like some 40 to 60 hour experience. <sighs> I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Uh. Yeah, no, 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 I wouldn't work uh, to get back up there. <laughs> I think she was repeating this the line from when we last played. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, this definitely wasn't here before. Look at these. These look like the new markings. Is this the way to their territory? We actually get to see where the Banuk normally live? Okay. Well, let's head on up then. Yeah. In the base game, the Banuk were just like, ah, well, we migrated slightly downwards, but oh, this isn't where we usually are. So maybe we actually get to check that out. Oh, a goat! I think. I always get mixed up between goats, rams, and sheeps. Uh, so. <laughs> if that's. I don't think it's a sheep! Definitely not a sheep! <laughs> yeah, first thing I saw. Wasn't expecting that. Does that you don't look like you belong know to you? Path hunter. No, no, I don't. I'm gonna take your stuff. Yeah, this is useful. A potion. A whole bunch of other things. Are, are they just giving me like a handful of supplies to survive out there? Greetings. Who are you? Seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south, away from the Banuk, past the Grave Horde. Anukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osaram territory. And take it from me. You want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. Huh, strange machines and a curse. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just passed through now. <laughs> sounds like a volcano. It sounds like you got a problem with volcanoes up north. I don't know how I'm going to solve that problem. You're going to Meridian. Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just... Recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sounds like convoluted politics, all right. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test, to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, thank you for the warning. I'm gonna head up there now. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. Then the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. 
Good luck. Thank you, random lady. Okay, new side quest, Into the Frozen Wilds. All right, Aloy travels north to the Banuk lands known as the Cut. Rumors are spreading of strange events in the Cut. Banuk lands found north of the Grave Horde, level 30. All right, well, we are definitely uh, that level. So we're going to be heading north into the Frozen Wilds. What are you doing, Aloy? This path leads to the Cut. You have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your task. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you'd moved on. Forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. <laughs> I was thinking, the Nuke Shaman's thread blue came through your skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future. Or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. Jesus. Do you wish. Mm. Of course. Touchy. <laughs> Alright, silence. So, as a note... <laughs> Obviously, we're, uh, I'm, I'm going to be putting this in the uh, the main Let's Play playlist, so I'm hoping you guys have seen the ending of the game. Uh, so, if there are any spoilers that I, I may or may not accidentally drop for the main story of the game, you have been thoroughly warned, because, well, I beat the game. Uh, now, generally, this is one of those games where you beat the story, but... To play the game, you have to go before you beat the story. So, this isn't a post-story DLC. And, uh, they solidified that just now by signs being like, Oh, the Eclipse aren't going to wait. Mm, indeed. And, uh, so, well... We'll have to find out why exactly they're doing this. That's new! This one's a new predator. I see the heat coming off it. It's got, like... Purple cables coming off of it. What the hell? Okay. You guys are gonna have to give me a second to uh, acclimate myself to the gameplay. It's been nine months since I last played this. So I'm gonna have to figure out controls and things like that. And that's a whole brand new enemy. Demonic Scorcher. Demonic Scorcher. What is that? Demonic machines ha are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than their normal counterparts. They are a force to be reckoned with. Oh shit. And I've never encountered... ...a Scorcher, right? Uh-oh. I don't think we've ever encountered a Scorcher. Wait, hold on, what now? Four skill points? Oh shit! There's actually a new tree here! That or I just never put my points in it. No, no, look at this. Increases resource inventory slots by 20%. Oh, I would have loved that in the main campaign. Okay, well, you know what? We'll uh, start making our way down here. I'm gonna go down the shard salvaging tree because of course I wanna be able to get more stuff. And then I don't really care about this tree here. Although maybe gathering resources while mounted would be nice. Okay. So I want this guy to pass by us. And then I'm gonna do a critical strike against him. That's generally, uh... How things worked out for us. I'm always glad to get... DLC. Where I get to use my Gax a little bit more. By the time we got all of our upgraded gear, there wasn't really much for me to use it on in the main game. So I have a whole new weapon and, and armor, and I used it on very, very little, especially the melee weapon. Of course, this is new DLC, so these guys are probably going to take still a whole lot of hits to take out, but that's fine. Okay, let me pull out my arrows. Okay. Can you can you stop? Pulling this guy along the entirety of his patrol path. This could go poorly for us. Aha! Silent strike! Oh 
boy. Ah! Oh my Jesus! Half my health is gone. Yeah! Yeah, you know what? Hold on now. Uh... Whoops, that's the only one. I'm not quitting. I just need to swap my weapons out. <laughs> I don't have my trip caster. Oh, sure. No, I do have a trip caster. I need the rope caster. Jesus Christ. Half my health gone in just a very quick second. Okay. Um, well. Let's tie this guy down. So that way I can do some free damage to him. Okay, so he's weak against some damage, weakness, ice? I don't know what that particular icon is, shit, whatever. We're gonna shoot off his, his big bits, because that will do intense damage. Ah! I have removed your components. Oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. Thankfully, this armor is pretty cool, even if it lacks mod ability. Okay, buddy, I need to shoot your other component. And hopefully he won't go, oh, Jesus. Fuck us up entirely! Haha! -ha, I stunned him! Yeah, that didn't do much. That's fine. We'll wail on him until he dies. Ah! Damn it! He did it again! Oh my Jesus. Fair enough. Look, I'm just- I'm gonna back off a little bit. Woo! Holy shit. Dude, this guy is durable as fuck. I'm trying to, like, finish him off with a melee attack! <sighs> For drama's sake. That was a bad idea. God damn. Ugh. So is he gonna be added to my little... notebook? about machines? Yeah, Scorcher. A very agile and dangerous combat machine with fire augmented melee attacks and a mounted mine launcher for ranged engagement. Jesus. Alright, so he had blaze casters, so those were weak against fire. Okay, so he, his main body's weak against freeze, which is funny. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be in the, the, the frozen wilds, right? Okay. And the Epsilon override codes. We have Epsilon override codes, right? Maybe not. Ah. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it has to be a brand new thing. Right. So it looks like we have three new machines here. And then, or rather, it looks like we have three new normal machines just kind of stalking around. And then possibly one old world machine? That's what I'm gonna assume this last one has to be. Cause it looks like a scary... Windmill... Machine of doom, I don't know, look. I, 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 it's not like this is the, uh, the PC, I can't point with the mouse, shit. So it had little bits sticking out, okay. We're gonna use... Breath is ice. Yeah. Before I even breathe out. Might as well use my potion, since it's gonna be a while for me to gather materials up. Did this, uh... <laughs> I... Didn't really take note of whether or not this water was frozen when we came in here. Because if this lake, or this if this little pond, or whatever you want to call it, melted because of our battle, that'd be pretty neat. Maybe it wasn't frozen entirely, but you can see that we have, like, tracks leading throughout all of this, where we, like, kind of shove the ice out of the way. <laughs> and, well, you can tell we were kind of all over the damn place. Jeez. Right. So, uh... 
I guess we have to go up there. There's like a little nook over here. Oh, it's just a climbing thing. What if I told you I don't want to climb? What if I told you I want to walk around the edge? That way, I still have a little bit more fine control of things. Now that guy had... didn't have full health. We actually started fighting him at like 75% health. So what caused him to be already injured? I have no idea. Could be one of the other machines. Maybe the Manuka are trying to hunt these guys down. We'll have to see. Oh, hey! Oh, you got an Aurora going on above us. Has Aloy ever seen the Aurora? That didn't sound good. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Was that... Was that just the Banuke calling out <laughs> about me? Hey, yeah, I'm an outlander. I'm from the Nora tribe, which are honestly one of the more closer ones that you'll find down here. Uh, in comparison to everything else. Holy shit. I realized how ridiculous the map looks when you're completely zoomed out. I know where everything is. I just never went for them. It's still my intention to go for them, but we have this whole new stuff to deal with first. Hey, campfire. This is welcoming. I can't use it yet, though. I'm not allowed to warm myself up. I like how she has an idle animation for kind of being cold. Will that go away if I just sit next to a fire? Or will it just always happen? I mean, to be fair, if you're in a place that's really fucking cold and you're standing next to a campfire, you're probably still gonna have little bursts of chilliness with the breeze. Shut up, phone. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Uh, you guys can't, like, be like that and then have fires everywhere. It's not like you guys are sitting here in the cold. <laughs> you know, you got a bunch of warm things around. If I see one of you guys in, like, the equivalent of a t-shirt and shorts, and then you guys are like, Oh, it's not that cold, Nora. Then I'll appreciate what you're trying to do here. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Excuse you. I'm here to solve your problems. This is Song's Edge. Biggest settlement in the cut. These are dangerous lands, Outlander. Deadly, even. Do you not see my armor? I have glowy bits. This isn't Ban-Ur. Not quite. You've come on a dark day, that's for sure. You're a long way from the sacred land, Nora. You leave soon, I'll wager. Your body, your spirit, or both. <laughs> wow, that's. This is Song's Edge, biggest uh, settlement in the your, <laughs> your body, your soul. Oh. Yeah, I can't solve volcanoes. I don't think. I mean, it could be being that could be there because of a machine, and therefore we could stop that. But uh, if that's just nature, you're fucked. I'm sorry, so guys. I'm from the mountain, and the village too. What's it for? In the village, too. From over here? Really? Where? I'm not seeing the smoke sword she's talking about. You know, besides the fact that there's tons of fires all over the place. You must not forget the importance of ceremony. Right. Well... The icon's telling me to go down that way. You died on Thunder's drum. Your songs will not be forgotten. Thunder's drum? Is that... Is that... A name of a place? An event? Or, like... Today, or something? The young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunder's drum. Sometimes... Loss is the price of survival. 
Ray's been gone a long time, but she will return. I must believe she will return. Right, okay, look, I'm gonna go see what's going on in your village. We're gonna talk to people, we're gonna offer our help, and then maybe we'll go around and, and chat up with the people a little bit more, unless they call out to me. Excuse me, Banuk villages. I realize that you must have very recently must suffered. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Must be oh. Yeah. That smoke. It wasn't really rising up to places we could see it. I wasn't really looking down. Okay. Well, these people have been through something. Let's find out what. Ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. I guess the Banuk are the tribe of people who uh, deal with machines. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky. And beyond the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight? And die as well as they did. I mean, I didn't my know courage, him, but I try. My spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon had frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Oritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. 
well, you know what? Hey, at least this time they're gonna have me. What's the difference? Well, I have I have plot armor, and then also badass armor just in general. It gives me a shield, man. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them, a hardship to endure, a challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Uh, well, you know, that's kind of their loss, but you know what? They're still going to take my help, even if they don't want it, because I'm going to do it anyways. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Sounds like I'm gonna have to find this, Aurea. And maybe she'll know more about things going on here. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Okay. All right. I'm going to check something real quick, viewers, because I swear to God, I recognize this voice actor. And, uh, <laughs> I really need to check this out. Hold on. Okay, I am in fact right. <laughs> so, I think the voice actor is Gary Anthony Williams, who voices quite a few characters, but I particularly noticed because I've been playing a game called XCOM 2, and he voices fucking Tygen. I'm just like, uh, Tygen, what are you doing here? <laughs> is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Hey, well, you know what? If I help out in this area, I'm sure your trade will somewhat go all right. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something, and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur. It's just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shop. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. <laughs> okay, well, I, I think I get it a little bit. What about you? You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Uh, back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. 
to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like this. Who's we? Hey, I'm willing to help. I don't need to be patronizing. We? Me and my daughter. Oh. My assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Hmm. How do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. <laughs> Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I thought he was gonna be like, Oh, well, obviously, Aloy, you're gonna help me out. You're an adventurer, you're coming over to the cut. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm-mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one seen before. Oh boy. No, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok can tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrom. Might be worth a shot. Sure. Okay. Well, we have a few different things we can do, obviously. We gotta chat with a lot of people here, and I will do so. But real quick, I am gonna actually take a slight break. Not because I'm taking a break from the game, but I'm taking a break from the fact that my room is currently 82 degrees, and I wanna fix that. 